just got back in town recently from working on the road. I uh, actually was at a few different trade shows working with, with sales professionals. And one of the things that really came clear to me is how often sales professionals don't pay attention to the power of the words. One of the words that continued to keep coming up was, we need to push. And not just that, but like, hey, you know, we need to push the blue pens. So when someone comes in the booth, we got to push the blue pens. Well, you know what? The word push, let me tell you what it means. It means resistance. I mean, think about it. If I'm going to push on you, then I'm assuming that there's going to be resistance there. I mean, I can't push something with no resistance. Like, I'm pushing the air. Maybe I'm pushing air right now, but I don't feel anything, right? I mean, there's not enough resistance there to do anything. So, in my mind, my subconscious mind is already programmed that resistance is involved. That's not the way you want to sell. I mean, really? I mean, do you want to be a pushy salesperson? Well, we already agreed upon that you don't want to be a pushy salesperson. That's not someone who you want to be or how you want to be. So let's get the word push out of our vocabulary. If you have something that you want to sell because you believe is the right fit and the right product for your customer, then why don't you say, why don't we promote it? Or why don't we make people aware of it? Or why don't we educate people about it? But hey, let's stop pushing and let's start educating. Let's start sharing what it is that we're here to do. We're here to help improve lives by whatever product or service you have to offer. And let's focus on that first and let's get push out of our vocabulary.